no longer a grim spectator sport in faraway places on the evening news. Whether it's a Molotov cocktail or a massive car bomb, anyone can be next, no matter where you live. But engineers are planning, building, using new technology to make our city safer in a changing world. To fight terror, you have to know your enemy. You have to stay one step ahead of the next deadly attack. You know, every event changes how we look at protecting people. It's like a chess game. You know, every time they make a move, we have to make a counter move. And every time terrorists do something, we have to do a counter effect to that. And so it's really trying to build up on what we can do to protect the occupants of the building. Glass is used everywhere. But for terrorists, it's as deadly as a bullet. Most deaths and injuries are caused by the collateral damage after a blast. Glass is a very effective building product. It's aesthetically pleasing, inexpensive to use, and it makes buildings look beautiful. The problem is nobody knows how to protect them. And so for a terrorist, this is... It's a field day for them. What an opportunity to cause so much damage with just one bomb. This test shows the effects of a bomb blast on untreated glass. A deadly shower of flying daggers. This may be the solution. A thin but incredibly strong layer of polyester laminate. The same stuff that makes wash and wear shirts. Microscopic layers are sandwiched together with a super strong adhesive. When the shock wave of the bomb hits the laminate, it safely disperses the energy over the entire pane of glass. Sheets of the laminate can be easily applied to windows, making them bomb resistant. Here's what happens. You can follow the shock wave along the ground as it approaches the window. Test footage in super slow motion shows the treated glass absorbing the blast energy. The laminate turns the window into a rippling protective curtain. We're able to stop bombs as high as 2,500 pounds. bullets traveling as fast as a thousand feet per second. Sharpshooter Steve Casham loads up his 9mm Beretta with hollow point bullets. They're testing laminated glass at a gun range in Ottawa, pumping bullets into panes of treated and untreated glass. The mannequin behind this untreated pane is about to do his last fashion shoot. Live fire! Fire your discretion! In order to see how the laminate works, the room is filled with smoke. 
This lets high-speed cameras pick up the path of the bullets. Okay, live fire. Fire at leisure. Slow motion footage shows the protective power of the laminate treated glass. Providing a frame by frame analysis of how the laminate performs. It is so strong, the bullet shatters into pieces, mixing with dusty bits of glass. Depending on the threat level, they can make the glass stronger by adding more layers of laminate. Ten shots. In this next test, a regular sized laminated window has targets painted on it. The engineers are so confident in the laminated glass, they set up a camera directly in the line of fire. Bullets either bounce off or they're absorbed by the laminate, showing it won't weaken even after repeated attack. Given the current climate of terrorism, laminated glass offers a relatively cheap and effective means of security. Orders are way up, with shipments of laminate going all over the world. Laminates protect against attack but they also can be used in a counterattack. As a terrorist is shooting, let me take a sample of a nine millimeter bullet here. As a bullet comes this way, we will stop it because our product is on surface two, the opposite side. However, if you were the security officer or a policeman on the inside and you, you were witnessing this, then you can confidently take your weapon, draw it, take aim, and your bullet will penetrate the laminate and take him out. Here's how it works. When it hits, the glass slows down the bullet and the laminate disperses the energy, preventing the bullet from going through. If a gun fires from the other side, the bullet cuts through the laminate, like a knife going through cloth. Sometimes, the most unsophisticated weapons can cause the greatest damage. When you have violent protests, when you have uh, civil unrest, be it politically motivated, economically motivated, and you want to make a point, throw a firebomb through a plate glass window, bomb a politician's office, a storefront, you're going to get attention. That's maximum damage for pennies. A Molotov cocktail can set off a deadly blaze inside a building. Untreated glass is no match for a firebomb. But laminate the glass, and the Molotov cocktail explodes without causing damage or injury. From shipping containers to public buildings, we're making our cities safer in a changing world. Engineers are building defensively, designing stronger structures in steel and glass. In a world that doesn't feel safe anymore, the threat of terror is pushing the frontiers of construction.